Katie, four years ago, you were the youngest athlete on the entire U.S. Olympic team. 2016, you're a veteran, yet still the youngest on the swim team. <laughs> what does it mean to you to go to Rio to defend your title in the 800 freestyle, but also have two more individuals and a relay? Good morning and welcome to Deck Pass Live. I'm Caitlin Sandano, and who could ask for a better location? Just a few meters from the edge of the pool. Last night couldn't have been more exciting evening to kick off the Olympic trials. We got started with the men's 400 IM and wow, was it a show. We just saw what we all assume was the last race between you two on US soil. Probably a lot of disappointed, sentimental fans out there. How much have you enjoyed racing each other and what can we expect in Rio? The swimmers and coaches are warming up behind me and the doors have just opened. So some fans are already headed to their seats. Here at the desk, I'm joined by Olympic legend, Dara Torres, with five Olympic games and 12 medals to show she's simply a swimming goddess. <laughs> yeah, Dara, right. welcome to the show. Thanks, Caitlin. Thanks for having me. So there's like a term out there now in the swimming world, like, oh, you just got Lezacked. You get Lezacked because when Jason dove in for that last leg, he was a full body length behind the French team. In the last 25 meters, Jason got his hand on first, so you got Lezacked, this guy right here. I actually heard that yesterday. Somebody <laughs> came up to me and told me about it. And I've, I've heard it before, but it's funny to hear it in person. I'm Caitlin Sandino, and last night this building was the loudest I have heard all week. For more on last night, I'm joined by Carolyn Joyce. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, Caitlin. Yay, Brandon! Oh my Thank God! Thank you for that introduction. <laughs> yes. That's like the nicest so nice. introduction I've ever had. Yeah. Oh. You look so nice. I haven't even asked him a question. I just keep talking. <laughs> it's awesome. It was life changing. It was truly life changing. And they're like, can you get more involved? And I became the national spokesperson, traveling the country, doing hospital visits. I've done over 140 hospital visits. Excited to honor this team. They had a very, very successful summer. We have a very bright future to look forward to with USA Swimming. You know, I got in the pool and I started swimming her race. And that got me completely out of my element. I think in life, if we get so stuck on somebody else's life and their track, it pulls us off of our track. Mm -hmm. It's been an awesome week. It's been so, I, I feel like I already have the post-Olympic trials blues. I know. I'm like, <laughs> how do you top the week we just had being on the morning show? And then I had the honor of being on the pool deck with Brendan Hansen. And we got to do the interviews with the Olympians as they made the team. And we were like the hype girl and man. I don't know what we call Brendan right now. And it, it was an amazing week. I, yeah. I'm kind of sad it's over.